Hello everyone, today I'm being coached by a very good terraforming Mars player, Thread Pacifist. If you were to line yourself up against every TFM player in the world, where would you rate yourself, Thread? Uh, hard to say, because there's a lot of different formats that terraforming Mars can be played in, but I'm routinely in the top 10 on the Steam leaderboards. And on BGA since it's come, you are reached number one very early on, you're still currently in the top 10 or so, but that's mainly due to lack of playing. That's right. I got first as the first person to do so and then took a break, let other friends get it, and then I think I'm like 12th or so right now because it's hard to play a bunch of games and people take 40 minutes per turn. <laughs> I'm definitely guilty of that. So uh, we're against Lumen, who is also a very, very strong opponent. You, you guys might know Lumen from my Agricola days when I was learning the game. He taught me the whole game from scratch. And yeah, he's also extremely good at terraforming Mars. He's currently in the top 10 as well. And he's our lucky opponent today. I did want to shout out your YouTube channel, Thread, that you, you had an old channel, but you just started a new one, Thread Pacifist. I'll link the channel in the description of this video, but go check it out for high quality terraforming Mars content. On to this game though. So I'll sort of, I'll share my thoughts. So immediately before looking at any of the cards, I see Teracta, which I believe is one of the best because you start with an insane amount of money and you have discount on earth. We have one earth tag here, which is imported nitrogen, which I think is a fairly good card. I also like giant ice asteroid, my whole area, maybe Vesta, and that's probably all I'm keeping out of this. What are your thoughts? Yeah, you identified the two best cards, which are clearly Molehole Area and Giant Ice Asteroid. It's funny in that UNMI, this is theoretically an amazing hand for UNMI, but uh, because it's just the base game, it's so poor that it struggles to play any of these cards in mm -hmm. its first generation, and that kind of keeps it hampered, and it'll never be able to really do what it's supposed to do. So I agree with Teractor here. Okay, would you say it's good for UNMI because we have like Mahole and like four heat production so we can get a terraforming bump every second gen basically for free? Well, ideally like Mohole along with like GHG factories and it's every generation. Oh, so you just yeah, have okay. a passive uh, one each uh, gen and each gen you get to hit your button without having to spend money on expensive terraforming. But the problem is, is you can't even play the two of them until probably uh, you know, gen three yeah. <laughs> is the soonest you'll get it. It's kind of painful. Okay, uh, any consideration for ice cap melting? Uh, yeah, so let's talk about what our goal is with this hand in that uh, you pick the two best cards, but we also should be thinking about Sala and about GHG factories. And the reason why we should be thinking about these is because in a two-player game, game control is the most important parameter. And uh, with our hand, we have nothing that helps us go for an engine whatsoever. We have a late game point card, but that's about it. And in the meantime, we have some very premium heat production and the best terraforming card in the game in Giant Ice Asteroid. So to start with, I want to go after a more terraforming setup. So now that we've seen that, we need to figure out what we can spend this generation. I think Molehole Area is definitely a play. And if we're going to do that, I would like to get even more heat, and so that GHG factories there looks really nice to get us the 8 heat prod immediately. Okay, so my, my initial plan, very short-sighted, was just round 1 Mohole plus Vesta, just to get titanium going. Vesta's okay, but uh, it's not that efficient in the grand scheme of things. If you look at it, it's you know 18 for one titanium prod, which means it's going to take 6 gins before it breaks even. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of overpaying for that point and Jovian Tag early on, which isn't always the best thing, but it's not a terrible development card either. But I would prefer to go after uh, the Heat Prod to get ourselves some points and game control versus trying to just rush out one Titanium Prod, which, for all we know, uh, he's Saturn, and we give him one Mega Credit production, and then he plays Asteroid Mining Consortium and takes it from <laughs> us, and then we're just crying, right? That's fair. So in this position, would you actually keep Vesta still, or not bother? Uh, I think Vesta is worth it if we can afford everything. Um, there's another card here that we should absolutely keep with our current setup. Curious if you think you can see it here. It's never Toll Station. I can't imagine it's greenhouses. So what are you saying, Solette? Solette has just always struck me as extremely expensive. Solette is good when you can afford it, but I think 15 heat production is overkill <laughs> okay. uh, in the setup. 
I can't imagine it's food factory either. So you're saying it's ice cap melting just to get the terraforming? Yeah. Oh, because, yeah, so because we're going to rush cap heat, melting, yeah. right? We have eight heat prod and it's two degrees Celsius requirements. It's a perfect card for, uh, we have rushed the heat track, but we don't have the oceans. Ice cap melting gets us an ocean for, you know, a huge discount. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I understand that logic. Cool. So now we should count up our cards that we have selected. Looks like we have six cards selected. Yeah, so we've so got 42. 18. So is that enough? That's enough for Mohol standard that, that power plant? That is exactly plant enough GHG. for standard power plant GHG. Yeah. Let's go then. And we are first player, not that means much. So, all right, start with Mohol then. Yeah, so here's an important decision point. We should be thinking about where we want to put Mohol area. We can do it on two cards which is what I generally like to do, but the problem is it will lock us out from going to the center of the board to get the ocean rebates if we do that. I, I don't have too much of a preference. I myself would probably lean two cards, but uh, going for the middle on the two plants is also very reasonable if we want to go for ocean adjacencies here. Ocean rebates but yeah. are fine, but we don't really have the greeneries to make use of them for a little while, right? Yeah, I would do two cards, I think, in this position. We get Wife and Imported GHG, just because we need more, more heat, yeah. And now I would skip second action at the... Right, yeah. we don't want him to take our power. <laughs> yeah, I try and do two actions when I can. It speeds the game up, but don't ever risk it when it comes to power. Yes, I, I agree with that. I agree with the philosophy of doing two actions at once as well. Standard Ocean. Oh. He's mining guild, so he's doing the I'm oh, going to develop no matter what. Interesting. Okay, we'll do our standard power, GHG. And then we can we can safely advance. Yeah, okay, we can pass. Yep, we're done here. He's mining guild, huh? So, okay, the two cards that stand out to me, Herbivores is number one as just a very strong point card. Yep. Uh, the other one is the science tag here but I think I'd lean towards herbivores. It's the scarier of the two. I would not say it's the scarier of the two. I would say it has the best scoring by itself. And with imported nitrogen, that also makes me lean towards herbivores. But the reason why I say Lagrange is actually scarier than herbivores is if it allows Lumen to play AI Central, uh, then we will be in uh, hurting. hurting potentially. But we have enough heat control in GIA that I think I'm okay if he goes for a slow card draw route, and I think Herbivores is the pick. Okay. Past us is science, but there's also grass here, and we're going to be racing up the heat track, so now I'm leaning towards grass for sure, but also... Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a perfect example of why I find Terraforming Mars so engaging, is because these are some <laughs> difficult decisions being given to us here. My... I'll, I'll let you decide what you're going to do, and then I'll say what I'll do. I mean, yeah, you can see the points. Like, grass for us is amazing because the same reason for ice cap melting. We're racing up the heat track. But Inventor's Guild is pretty scary since we just passed a science tag as well, so I think we're going to deny that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely don't give him a uh, card draw. Mining Guild, more than any other corp, longs for card draw because they're so tied to their steel production. If they can find ways to use their steel production and find tiles then they're going to have a very strong game. If they right. can't, then they just kind of crash and burn. Um, so Caretaker Contract is a useless card for him, but it's actually looking a little bit interesting for us, is it? No. It, it is a little bit interesting. I'm, uh, I'm not convinced it'll even be good this game. Usually, even when Heat looks really fast, it uh, still doesn't hang around for that long. But so Flobo's we'll just... Space Haven isn't very good either. The thing is, if we're taking this, I don't really want to commit three m well two mc to it basically right i think i would skip caretaker i would just cut the phobos from him and dust deals dust seals we always skip because we don't need one flat point for the initial investment yep agreed so i mean i think we keep herbies for the upside later yeah herbies sure. is definitely a key and now the question is do we want inventors guild with our hand and so i was thinking if we don't keep it we can play vesta this round is that too short three. term i think that's too short term and that's probably why i would have skipped vesta to begin with though i think it was reasonable as a speculation keep here but i think two cards makes a lot of sense because while we have heat we don't have any plants and we're kind of just going to be looking for 
some other premium cards to help us score and advance the uh, oxygen track. Okay. Titanium mine. And robotic workforce to copy it immediately. Okay, he's got some nice production, but that's all he's doing for the round, we assume. Okay, so then I think it's fair to play Inventor's Guild this round and just use it. Yeah, I like that. Use it straight away in case we find something. Yeah, we'll keep perfect. that. And then we just convert our heat. Yep. No, no reason not to. Yep, no reason not to. If he takes it, he takes it. Uh, one of the heat bonuses. That's all we can do this round. Okay. Uh, it's only Gen three, so Acquired Company is gonna plus is an Earth tag. I think Adapted Lichen yeah. is okay, but I think Acquired Company is a standout pick here. Acquired Company is definitely the pick. Adapted Lichen's not very good, and that's because as the heat track goes up, plant cards become more and more uh effective and uh, efficient. Yeah. And so picking the one that is the least efficient of all plant cards is not very useful. It's the least efficient because you can play it immediately, whereas the ones that have heat requirement are generally better values, what you're saying. Yep, that's right. Uh, we can't flood him. Um, so just take away card draw from him? I think we want to keep that because we have the discount on it as well. True, but yeah, we're, true, true. we're essentially paying seven to get a full draft to ourselves and then picking two of that. That's valuable. I like that. Flooding is good, and he will like it because he can play it on the two steel. But uh, oh, I was I thinking, think I was thinking he could flood us as well. He could, but I don't think it's in his best interest to just take away the plant prod from him. Or... Yes, I would just cut that from him. I think he we have enough to do. Flooding. I would not keep it myself. It's essentially half a point, uh, so we're not interested. Yeah, it's too expensive. Just these two. Yeah, I like those two. Seven. So we definitely play Acquired Company and Business Contacts this round. No. No. No, not at all. Because Ooh. we play our Acquired Company, and then we play Business Contacts, and how much money do we have left? Uh, six. Yeah, so what card is in the game that we can use six mega credits to do anything with? In the meantime, what cards are out there that can make Business Contacts better? Okay, so we wait on business contacts for, like, media group. That sort yeah, of thing. media group, Earthcat, Research Outpost. Yeah, there's lots of Any things discounts. that can discount okay. it. But I do agree, we do acquire company here. And imported GHG, then, I assume is... Well, we can also draw, think, draw first. I think we draw before we play anything. We should have done that before. <laughs> uh, we should probably undo. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's all right. We're, we're going ahead with this. This is a reasonable keep. Yeah. Yeah, that's efficient enough. We want that. Yeah, I was going to say, if we drew Earth Office, then we made a mistake by playing Acquired Company before Earth Office. So that's why I said we might want to undo there. That's true. No, he plays Nuke Zone. Gets the heat production. Okay, that's a strong play. So talk to me about milestones. How You obviously want to get at least two of them in a two-player game. That would be ideal. Are we eyeing any at the moment? Terraformer is the one we're most likely to get here. We have strong heat production. We have giant ice asteroid. It'll be almost inconceivable that he beats us to Terraformer. Mm -hmm. The question is, is will he beat us to the other ones by then? Uh, Planner doesn't really look like it will. Mare, it might. He played a power there, which I thought is a little weird. So I see two possibilities for that. And uh, really only one possibility. I think he has... Dev Center in his hand. Oh, that's oh, that's interesting. So obviously need because the power for it. Why would he leave a power floating? Right, he understands the value of not leaving it at risk. So that means either he has energy tapping, so he knows we can't take our the power from him, or he has Dev Center and has to let it float to next gen. Uh, we just play the GHG here. I like the GHG. Yes. And then and now you get to decide how greedy you want to be. You can <laughs> sacrifice one mega credit to guarantee you get the heat production. And I think that's usually worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. I like doing the double heat next. Unless he has like a... How many events are there that give double temp? Nuke Zone is one, Lava Flows is another. Yeah, Lava Flows, Big Asteroid, Deimos Down, all possibilities. But they're pretty expensive for him. Well, he has a lot of titanium. 
Yeah, it's within the realm of his budget, but I'm not sure it's necessarily the best play. He played Peroxide Okay, so power. he's at three prod now. So what does that tell us? Water splitting plant as a potential? Steelworks? We saw Just water splitting in the draft. Some... Okay. I think. Uh, we'll pass this round anyway. Yep. I believe we saw water splitting. Sounds right. I thought I remembered it, but I also was watching a game before this one. Uh, tech demonstration seems like the best because we get... Heather might be the best, but I think just the extra cards we want to cut from him still. And uh, agreed. Ourselves. 100%. Take tech demo and we'll take one of the plant cards back. Hackers, we're not too concerned about maybe asteroid mining. Yeah, we don't want to give the guy with 18 titanium asteroid mining. He'll be able to just use that to help his production here. So okay. insulation is very interesting. <laughs> I've always thought this uh, not of not being a card as well, but yeah. I don't normally have nine heat gen by uh, nine heat by gen four. Yeah, I don't think it's that good of a card. You can think, oh, I'm going to transition to money now, but by the time you're doing that, the game's mostly over anyway, yeah. so it's not worth a early pick. Oh, we actually get Heather back. I'm kind of surprised he took Lycan. I'm not that surprised. Uh, Heather Lycan's playable right now. Heather's True. going to be in probably two to three turns. Okay, Heather's actually not that much. Oh, it's just a bit cheaper and it gives you one plant immediately, but we'll take it. Yeah, I still think it's a pick. Never play hackers. I'm going... Someone's going to come in and say, but Thread can play it for a banker or it can hurt your engine opponent. And yeah, in 0.05% of scenarios, there will be a time to play it, but... If you're learning the game, don't play hackers. It's a bad card. Is there ever a point in time where you feel like there's you have too much card draw? Yeah, and we're on the verge of not needing tech demo, uh, quite honestly. Okay, I, gotta, I think it's still okay. Got to think about what we're spending money on this round then. Heather's not playable. This round is the round we're playing Vesta Shipyard since we bought it. Or we can just say that was a two mega credit mistake and play business contacts and try and find something better. I am more a fan of the second line myself. Okay, I'll, I'm all into sunk cost fallacy, so I'm like, I bought Vesta, it must get played. But no, that would be a bad way of thinking. I mean, we could play tech demonstration and business contacts and draw a card and maybe get something better. We could. Tech Demo has more synergies that can work with it. It has the Space Event synergy, so Optimal Aero Breaking can work. It has the uh, Olympus Conference and Mars U synergy. And so I would prefer to do Business Contacts, which is a little less extreme in its synergies. Okay, but first move we want to... Oh, it doesn't matter, but we can double convert first, I guess. Yeah, we, we should double convert. I was going to say it doesn't matter because he has uh, no money. Well, he has titanium and steel. It is water splitting. Okay. okay. So he's chosen violence. This is going to be a low scoring game with uh, uh, oxygen bumper, as I call him, uh, in the game here. Okay. So like he's going to work on the oxygen. We're, we're working on the heat and yep. then just oceans we share. Yeah. So let's draw with Inventor's Guild first. Yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. And then you like business contacts next? I do like business now. Not the cards you wanted to see. Is Regolith interesting to take away some of the oxygen, but it's just very slow as well. But it also gives a place for ni microbes to go with uh, imported nitrogen. It does give a place for them to go. I but just don't think it's good enough. I would do gene repair and shuttles for the potential upside versus trying to play to a very low ceiling like regolith eaters. Shuttle, shuttles, I definitely agree. Yeah, gene repair has good upside if we can find more science. That leaves 17, so you, so you don't like the Vesta here. You can play Vesta. Here's where I'm a little wary of Vesta, is I don't want to play Vesta and get Asteroid Mining Consortiumed, and he has the Titanium Prod to do so. That doesn't mean that he has it. It just is something I'm worried about. And if we do that, we're basically spending 12 on a point, which is devastating yeah. right now. So I think I prefer saving our money because what I'm looking at doing next generation is towing a comet into Nitro Moss here. 
That way we can okay. go ahead and get our plant prod uh, going. We're going to have 43 next gen. Tony Comet's 23. Yeah, okay, so we can still afford to keep some cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, those are incredible. All right, I'm looking at research outposts first. Yeah. Yeah, research outposts is the best card in the game, essentially. Uh, so we definitely want that. And then when, what do you think he will take from this pack? I think Space Elevator looks pretty good for him, like insanely good for him. It's the best card for him, but, but it's terrible for also, us. I think he will good. take imported hydrogen, knowing that we would rather that one and give us back Space Elevator. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Okay, so Noctis City is a good is like an amazing steel dump for him, but we just did pass him Space Elevator as well, which you don't think he'll take. But Natural Preserve also gives him uh, more steel production. It's like a yep. very cheap tile to place, so I'm kind of more interested in taking that away. Plus, we can use it ourselves, yeah. and it's a science. I would tag. do I would do Natural Preserve because he using the oxygen bumper has proven that plants aren't going to be as much of a factor this game. Okay, nope, he took the card that's best for him. So, all right, we happily take the other one. Yep. I mean, this is good for us. I think we're keeping three out of three at the moment. Yeah. And not that. Natural Preserve's not the best card, but I think it's good enough here. Okay, uh, if we're going to keep it, where is it going to go? Just It'll go over by Nocta City. We passed it to him, so we should start polluting Nocta City. Uh, Assuming so that, he that doesn't means... play it first. Yeah, that means we have to do it first move yeah our plans have changed we're not going to be playing towing a comet here yeah preserve so, has to come down first move because otherwise yeah it, it has to be next to another so, tile yeah let's let's talk about it for a second so what could make these cards better uh research outpost yeah yeah so that's one we want to play first but what could make even research outpost better uh finding like mars u or olympus conference yeah okay so we draw things. first well, but as you stated, if mm. we draw, we don't have the tempo anymore to play Research Outpost and Natural Preserve. So I do like these two. Uh, we're just a bit short of gene repair as well. Yeah, I also think that just playing them now makes more sense than uh, drawing. So where do you want to put it is the second question. So we could kind of leech off Nocta City because he kept three cards. I'm going to assume he kept it. We could like put it here. I wouldn't put it there. I would put it right next to Nocta City to truly leech off of it. So on the two plants right next to Nocta City, okay. that's where I would go with it. All right, I like that a lot as well. And then uh, Natural Preserve can go on like the other side on one plant. I would do it to the south, I think. And the reason why I say the south is because we have our molehole area up north already. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this gives us access to the southern rebates without having to go by Nocta City. I like that. That's something that you talk about like a lot when I'm watching your gameplay, like just being able to uh, have access to all areas of the all parts of the map. Yeah, I, I like. I would have blindly put it north, but they're basically the same. And south makes more sense for all. Okay, well, he found one of the best cards mining guild can find. That's not good. Restricted area. Hmm. All right. Plan this round is. Well, we cancelled it. He probably is going to put it next to our city. Yeah, that's what I expected. Okay, he draws the card. I guess we want to do the same thing first. Yep. I mean, no reason not to. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. We should take that. Though, it does have the side effect of we can't uh, you get the titanium with it anymore. He took all those spots. We can still get steel it i mean it basically yeah. pays for itself kind of yeah exactly that's why i think it's worth doing and i'd put it where you put it up there the two steel and ocean next generation yep uh so we just convert first yep so we want to be mindful of important cards that come online at the various temperatures so remember he has grass yeah which is that means the next time we raise it it's playable for him so that means you want to be careful and maybe think about playing a giant ice asteroid on him before he, you know, is able to use grass to convert. Just kind of be looking out for that. Grass gives plus three. That's right. Plus three. So if he plays grass, it'll be perfect range for us to giant ice asteroid the next generation. So we want to take that money into account as well. In that case, I think 
we, we don't really need to tech demonstrate here. Nope. Just pass. We them. won't be able to do anything with it, so we keep waiting. Okay. Say you found an Earth Catapult right now, this draft. Are you still playing it? Uh, that's a tough one. Oh, okay. Well, I think we did find the best card for us here. But the downside is it comes with an amazing card for him, too. I mean, kelp farming is amazing. Yeah, I think kelp farming has to be the pick for us here, but we're sad about having to give him med lab for it. Yeah, and then we just cut corporate stronghold. Yeah, or you could take moss. Either one's fine. He's already got three science. I, I feel like we can use the steel. Like, we can use the steel immediately on mining rights. Yeah, I think my mineral deposit's correct, since he already has the three science. All right, so he has seven cards, five steel production. That's card draw as well. And he did play space elevator. I, I missed that. Uh, I think I would still do Moss over Corporate Stronghold here, and the reason why I would do so is because Nitrogen Rich Asteroid exists, and Moss can help turn that on very easily and cheaply, and Corporate Stronghold isn't that good to play if you're not going heavy ground game, and with an Oxygen Razor, he's not really doing a heavy ground game. Right, he's like artificially boosting Oxygen, which means cities don't benefit from having all the greeneries around them. Yep. Uh, Moss is okay if we can afford it. I'm not sure we can afford it here. Oh, 27. I'll, I'll have you tell me. What do you think our biggest priority play is this generation? First thing we should do. There's a lot. Um, so if we keep these two, we have 27. Would like to get gene repair online ASAP, I think. We can play mineral deposits and mining rights, but you're also looking at towing a comet earlier. Yep, I was looking at that. But look at... In general, we should always be striving to get greenery conversions where we can, because that protects our plants. And we're in a tight battle for Terraformer right now, since he has the Oxygen Razor, and we want to make sure we're winning that. So what card would allow us to get an immediate greenery conversion here? Uh, towing is one-off. Imported Nitrogen is also one-off. Yep, so Imported Hydrogen lets you put an ocean and get three plants. Oh, and there's yes, okay. some two-plant oceans available still. Okay, and then we can plant... Would you plant for the two-money rebate or just next to the city? I guess city is more important. Next to the city for two plants because we have Nitro Moss in our hand. And that okay. gets us our third ocean to play Nitro Moss. It also you know, lets us get close to Moss as well, so it might have been worth considering Moss there, but we have a lot to do. It's okay. Also, it's noticing we have enough for Planner, but we're tight on money. Ooh, we could do like Planner, still imported Nitrogen, uh, Hydrogen. I think planner's a bit much for us, um, but let's figure out our math. So if we planner, that puts us to 19, then mm -hmm. that costs us uh, exact cash, which means we would not be able to play mineral deposit into mining rights, which is fine. I don't really think that planner is something we have to push super for right now, because let's count our cards we're playing on playing. We want to play imported hydrogen, convert. One, two, three. Yeah, and then we want to play Nitro Moss, Mineral Deposit, Mining Rights. So that's four cards we want to play. We're going to draw a card from our Inventors Guild. And then in the draft, we'll have a chance to see some new cards. And I think that is our time to make a play for Planners next gen. Okay, so while he has a lot of money, we just want to uh, import it plus yep. convert to Granary first. Yeah, I like right there beside Noctis City. Really? Lets us move. It mo lets us move along with our natural preserve along the bottom there. I was thinking it also just gives him two cash when he plays Knock the City. It does, but but who cares? I mean, cities aren't exactly efficient development, and it's not even really worth playing that much since we've polluted it so badly. It's three points maximum. And we want to avoid using the heat as long as possible to dissuade him from playing grass. Or do, That's we, right. do we want him to play grass so we can asteroid? No, I guess we, we don't want him to play grass still. We're a little poor for the asteroid right now, I'd say. He's getting more power. Yeah, which might mean physics complex, or it's just a way for him to 
uh, get the building tags for MedLab or something, perhaps. Oh uh, yeah, I would I would assume MedLab and then into build or next round. So I like drawing first. Yes, yes, yes. Got to get into that habit. Uh, it's an Earth tag, but well, how many cards it's did he not... keep? He kept three. Because there's still Corporate Stronghold plus Noctis City. Yeah, I think pets could be some points, but cities just aren't going to be very good this game, quite honestly. I think that playing cities is to not to our advantage or to his advantage, really. All because right. there just won't be that many greeneries with this oxygen being raised like this. Okay, I'm fine discarding it then. And now what's the most time critical? Yeah, Nitro Moss, because he could kill our plants. So we want to get that down. And then we can, yeah, mineral deposit mining rights and temp bump as late as possible. Yeah, there's MedLab. All right, and, and now we raise yeah, our heat. Double bump. Um, well, that was a little quicker than I wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry. What were you looking uh, at? So scroll down. Yeah. So look at the temperature when you raised heat twice. And you see a card that meets that requirement in our hands? Oh, no. Okay. We could have yeah. discarded one thing and played Heather. I think we had the money. Oh, we had money anyway. Heather. Okay. That's my mistake. It's okay. So what card do you think we should get here? Alg is kind of interesting, but also a mining area for him. Well, is it like diminishing returns at this stage? Yes, it is diminishing returns. Well, mining area is fine. He Look at the board. He doesn't have a tile that can use it. He'd have to put down a new tile somewhere to use it, and there's not that many interesting places that he'd want to put it down. Meanwhile, Algae is going to be playable immediately after our giant ice asteroid. Okay. I'm down for that. Uh, uh, there it is. We just... I guess we don't... We could, yeah. like, threaten him with... The other, the other two are kind of useless. I guess... Is Carbonate that bad for him? But I assume he has other I think, plans. I think I would not give him Carbonate here. And you want to take a guess at the reason why? Uh, because it's basically free for him to play. He has excess power, so it's just like three heat that takes away from our terraforming. Takes away from our terraforming, and also it makes Thermalist harder to fund for us as a potential fund. Okay. And yeah, we don't plan on producing titanium, so asteroid mining is like kind of dead. So if we played Vesta, it would have been one free point at the cost of 15 early money, and then this generation he would have probably played it on us and taken our titanium. Yeah. Uh, for that same reason, do we want to take away Lunar Beam, or it literally doesn't matter? I guess Lunar uh, Beam's playable for us, but we don't really want to. Yeah, I don't think we want to play Lunar Beam. I don't think we want to play Giant Space Mirror either, but he has a bunch of Titanium and uh, not a whole lot of cash, so I would cut the one that can use Titanium. Sure, and then looks like just Algae out of these. Yeah, I think just Algae here. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's, oh. Uh... yeah, we're one short. We'll sell a card if we need to. No, we have, we have perfect also, money. Also, planner. Oh, you're right. We have perfect money. I forgot about research outpost discount. It does mean planner isn't really capable for us this generation, but that's okay. I mean, we can still wait on this to uh, hit more plans. We should wait. We shouldn't immediately play it this generation. I would use a card here and see what Inventor's Guild gives us. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So Looking at that and kelp, and kelp farming. But we already have the oceans in play for it, so we're essentially saying we would like to pay six mega credits for the option of playing kelp farming early when we could instead play like 22 mega credits to just get it online with towing. So I think I wait and not do special design, but it's worth thinking about. And I would raise heat. This is just sort of waiting to see if he uh, gets any more plants for giant ice asteroid, or are we looking to tow comets? Yeah, it's kind of what I'm doing, is waiting to see if he's going to get more plants. Okay, we can <sighs> gene repair and tow comet. 
we want to wait on towing a comet here, I think. And that's because it gives us an oxygen bonus, which means that we can use it to snipe the 8% oxygen bonus on that track. Okay. And it's looking pretty likely we can do that. The thing I'm looking at right now is it looks like he has a pretty good play for planner here because he can just not do anything more. And with restricted area, buying four in the draft or three in the draft and restricted area, he'll get planner from us, which means we're only getting one milestone, which is fine, just not ideal. Okay, he hasn't claimed build yet. That's... Uh, yeah, Terraformer will wear quite a few gens away. Well, no, maybe no, we, two, we two did gen. it next gen. Giant Ice Asteroid, and uh, next gen we raise heat once. Uh, convert plants, and we got it. Uh, I still like Gene Repair plus Heather here. Gene Repair is expensive for what it does here, and we need to make sure our money is very carefully budgeted because Terraformer is a thing that we are kind of fighting over, though I think we have it over him. Okay, so... so... You like going for planners, which would mean tech demonstration. No, no, I don't like going for planner. I think that's too expensive for us. I'm thinking he's going for planner. And if he's going for planner, it might be in our best interest to just play Giant Ice Asteroid right now. Just hope he doesn't have a way of killing our plants more than anything. Because right, if we play Heather... Yeah, if we play Heather and Gene Repair, then... What have we really accomplished? We're still not able to get a greenery conversion until we play a giant ice asteroid. Uh, we get a little bit of money, but it's going to take five gens to pay off. It's, right. it's questionable. And this gives us basically four income anyway, because it's giving us four TL. Yeah. Okay. The downside is it does... All right, well, we're playing it. The no, downside I'm, is it I'm, does... I'm happy to play uh, it now. Yeah, I think it's fine to play now. I'm just saying it does potentially let him play bushes if he has bushes, since we've gone past minus 10. He hasn't even played grass yet. Yeah, it might be he won't, since the oxygen being raised by power kind of negates its usefulness. And we're done. We are threatening Planner now, so he has to be cognizant of that threat. So you wouldn't sell, like, Wife to get Heather down still? No, I don't think it's worth selling a card to remove our planner threat to get one plant here. Okay. Playing more hmm. science tags. He's either digging for a card because he doesn't have anything he wants to play right now, or he's working towards anti-grav or mass converter. Hmm. But if he has mass converter, why'd he pay, play the kind of marginally useful tech stress power. You'd rather just play Mass Converter. He's probably working out if there's a way for him to take all the milestones here. Uh, we can just pass. Yeah, there's nothing we can do if he does. I mean, he has Builder, and he's going for Planner. I don't see what the uh, other one he could take would be. Mayor is a potential with enough city tags here. Right, he has Noctis, he has Corporate Stronghold, then SP a city, play another city. It's doable. Not sure it's good, but it's doable. There is Noctus. Yeah. Then I guess we can expect... I don't know, he'll probably wait for Corporate Stronghold until he gets more steel to spend the steel on yeah. it. Yeah, and he is doesn't have the cards for Planner either, so he can get, you know, Mayor and Builder, but miss out on Planner. Yeah. I think he only is getting two max here. Do we have any play for two of them? Like Terraform? Okay, Terraform we have... Uh, yeah, Gardener and gen. Terraformer are both in our grasp. Cloud, Cloud seeding. seeding. That's a weird one. And grass now, okay. Okay, this is card draw that's basically free for us to play. Cost three, but it's also gen eight, and I don't know about it. Dome Crater is a yeah. steel dump for him, but only in the short term. It's still the card I don't want to give him, because I don't want to give him steel dumps that also give him plants to help contest us on the ground. I think that's fair. Oh, Whoa. hello. Yeah, that's a good card. You don't pass that one back. We don't pass it back. Uh, I don't know that we're necessarily looking at it. I think Insects is the best card here by far. Space Mirrors okay. is useless. Yeah, so we're Here's taking a business network. And so here's where we get to talk about where we want to go with this. 
I don't see the point in going for Planner here. I think he is just going to take two milestones here. And if he doesn't, I think next generation we will get Gardener and Terraformer. And yep. so I think trying to force Planner is too much. I agree. And I also think that we have enough things to do and we're not that rich that even more card draw is not in our best interest here. So I would only take insects of these cards. And I'm not keeping Dome Creator because it's just too expensive compared to just a regular standard city. Yeah. Though we do have excess steel that we could use on it, not having the power still is too expensive. And it'll very quickly be unplayable this yes. generation. Oh, so this is interesting. He has enough to convert. Yeah, but if he does, then yeah, we get we the have, bonus with yeah. towing. But if oh, we convert, he gets the bonus with his greenery and the oxygen razor. True. So this is one of those situations where you really want to be doing one action, then skipping. Well, if you're playing against someone that's also going to do that, yes. It's important to match parity here. So if he does two, I will do two. If he does one, I will do one. Okay, yeah, it because just speeds up the game. It's the same either way, right? It's yes. Action parity is all that matters. And hey, that Vesta shipyard we have in hand might finally come in handy when we sell it to give us an additional action. <laughs> so Convoy was real nice of him. Now we can just play Kelp Farming without having to play Towing a Comet. All right, order of actions first we draw, and then we... We draw. We don't want to convert yet because yeah. we don't want to give him the oxygen bonus. All right, we'll so draw we draw... Nope. Eh. Maybe, maybe I'm bad. a little too quick on saying no but yeah it's not bad because we do need power and we do have steel but we just need to make sure it doesn't delay our moves this generation and i think this generation we're looking at kilt farming heather is 21 algae is 30 insects is 38 so we have perfect cash already to kind of play everything and we still need to claim milestones and so i think it's just a distraction we can't afford right now that was, uh, you said kelp farming, heather, algae, and insects. Yeah, it's kind of all the things we want to play, but we need to keep towing a comet available for us. And we do not want to raise the heat, because if we raise the heat, Wait, we're, we're, kind of well, close to zero. we're very close to Deimos range. I would rather convert the greenery before uh We don't want to do that either. Heat. No, we don't. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of a tricky situation. Um, if we kelp, we can still do towing a comet, so sure, that's fine. Yeah, what, what I was looking at was kelp plus towing comet, but yeah, I, I think he's gonna... Oh, he does. So we just want to convert plus towing. Probably. Let's see what he does. Strip, Strip mine. Okay. Now hates. I don't think that's space. very good. <laughs> I don't think strip mines that useful. So now we do convert. Now where do we want to convert is the first question. Uh, so this is only one point. I was thinking just double rebate next yeah. to the ocean. Exactly. Poor cash back. And we get another two cash back with this towing comet. Oh wait, that already put us uh, past. Yeah. Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> we don't want to. We do not want to. Do anything like that. Oh, Play, uh, he took the... Oh, okay. Yeah, he he, he did strip mine to take the... Right. We still want to convert, though. Yeah, we still want to convert. Sorry, I thought we were still uh, racing for eight. No. Yeah. Um, now we're... Uh, look at the board. He can't claim anything here, really. He can claim one, and I don't know how he gets... Oh, no, Terraformer is actually very much up for grabs here yeah i think we're forced to raise heat here i don't mind heat raise i don't th yeah. think there's an he could get another two he has he has one for sure he could but he can't do it with two actions i don't think i mean i was, I was more worried about the ocean tile yeah i mean i'm certainly worried about the ocean tile but it's important we get terraformer here and i don't want him to snipe that from us we're also close on gardener yeah, we get Gardener next gen. Well, we can do it first move of next gen. He does water splitting and space. All right, elevator. he doesn't have the time, so now we can claim Terraformer. Yeah. All right, and now we should sit and have a little chat. So 
we can play our plant prod and plant prod is nice for point scoring but the way the game is going it's not going to be that useful let's look at the tile counts i see you don't have it uh the little chicklets under there so let's look here it's six four to six to so i think we're probably winning it with insects and algae he's definitely winning minor and so the question here is do we want to fund landlord it's a little bit of a risky fund because he could have a bunch of cities to annoy us but i think he's definitely winning scientist and minor and without much probably, contest probably here. banker as well yeah banker's close i don't know on that one um so here's what we need to think about if we want to fund so if we fund i think landlord is it that takes us down to eight cash which uh, 8 to 10 cash, and then we can yeah. play algae, and we can't afford insects, which is sad, but okay. I think we're at the stage of the game where I would be looking to fund. I yeah. think Lumen is also looking to fund, and I think Miner is such a slam dunk for him that I don't want to give it to him for 8. So I think I would risk Landlord, though it is a risk, so we're clear. I believe we can win Landlord. We already have a two advantage. Um, we know he has Corporate Stronghold, and that's about all I remember from his cards. Okay, do you think it's still worth playing Herbivores? It is still worth playing Herbivores. I think you want to play Algae first, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not this round, but uh, next round before we do a Greenery. I guess money being tight's been a theme the whole game. Yeah, you have to be accurate when you're playing like this. The issue with herbivores is that if he doesn't take two milestones here, then we have to open with convert a greenery and then claim a milestone. So that means we'll miss out on half a point from herbivores, but that's worth it for a milestone. Okay, is it more important to do that or somehow get this ocean if he leaves it? Um, I don't think we should fight over the ocean too hard. If he takes two heat raises to get the ocean, then we can just raise the heat and play our ice cap melting, which is almost as good as a free ocean. Okay, fair. But it is definitely something you want to be thinking about. So, I mean, at the moment, all he has is Builder. He's not getting Planner. And you were saying Mare he can fight for, but he's still only got he one He can, seed. but I don't think it's possible anymore with his money situation that's what i mean I, so i don't see which uh, milestone he's gonna take away from us well when i said that we have to convert immediately if we can to open that's because if he were to blow up our plants we would ha be without a milestone to get anymore true okay uh so yeah we want to play algae here yeah i think that's best and that should be all we're doing this round yeah i don't think anything else is going to be played here he passes too Yep, so we pass. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> interesting uh, pick here, huh? Uh, Advanced Allies has a whoa, lot whoa, of whoa, whoa. value. Yeah, I, I know there's yeah. common. I know there's common. Okay, and he can blow up. See, but only three plants we can still convert, but we are fighting for Landlord. Well, Comet's also the ocean bonus, so you should think of that as two oceans and a heat for 20, which is almost like Giant Ice Asteroid, but 16 cheaper. True. And yeah, okay. look at all the minerals he has. While it is a lot of value, he has to have ways to spend them, and I'm not convinced he does. Okay, so, so, I so think first comet. move we could like Comet plus Temporays. Uh, you still want to do yeah. Greenery into... <laughs> yeah, we still want to get Gardener, but I don't think he has a way to stop it, so I think Comet into Temporays is the way to go here. Okay. Probably yeah, so... Nitrate. So it depends on how cute you want to be. Uh, we're not really that rich this game. So I don't think it's in our interest to take nitrite reducing bacteria, even though it does combo with imported nitrogen. I was just more thinking denial. I I'm not planning on keeping any of these. Yeah, I think it's fine to deny nitrite then. Yeah, he does take alloys. Um, probably just the science tag. Yeah, probably. Tardis is a point with imported nitrogen, but again, I still think we're not rich enough to be looking for those. Yeah, I think we just keep Comet. Yeah, seems good to me. And I think towing a Comet's dead. Oh, Sad no. day. Yeah, well, the, the ocean is dead from us, which makes it pretty useless now. Yeah. So let's do the Comet line, because 
I don't see a way he gets the smear from us. Yep. We just keep uh, walking along. Yep, right there. Yep. Then we can put our granary right there for six pack. Once once we raise the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Just keep walking along. Uh, or you want two plants? I, I was thinking two plants, but one plant is okay. I, I would I would do two plants. Okay. So you were saying you had sub ten minute games. Yeah, uh, when you play fast enough and the opponents aren't quite strong enough to present challenges to you, it's not too hard to just rattle off the moves here. I, I definitely could have played fast moves, but I a lot of would a lot of them would have been inaccurate moves. Yeah, that is the risk you always have. So the reason why I wanted two plants is because uh, okay, so he's threatening planner, so we need to convert uh for six cash back and claim gardener. Yep. Yeah, I think that was the plan anyway. Yep. Now we when we play Heather, it is going to be another greenery for us, which is why I wanted two plants. Right. That that is what I missed the break point. And if he He's raises heat, play... we can do ice cap. He's going to raise heat because he wants to play fish on us. Yeah, there is anti grav. He was kind of telegraphing that with the research. Still kind of late for it. So we want to do Heather and Convert again? Uh, we want to play Herbivores first. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. But let's activate Inventors Guild first. Yes. Let's do things in correct order. Uh, Maybe no. a long time ago, but yeah. it's too late now. Now we Herbies. Yeah, hit the right guy. That'd be embarrassing. I've done that before. I've also hit myself before. Okay, even at this stage of the game, are we still looking to insects? I guess it's like plus four plant production. Um, Yeah, we're definitely looking to insects if we can afford it. Unfortunately, he has viral and decomposers here. That's unfortunate. Mm. Well, we didn't Which means that symbiotic those. fungus we passed might be getting a little home there help give decomposers some more points the game yeah, should, should end next gen right yeah next gen it should end so we're just going to hope that we can end into a win here before he outscales us i don't know if we'll succeed but we will try i'm feeling pretty confident right now i guess he has a lot of titanium banked up uh do we just go and next, a lot next of city? cards and minus two um Next to our city is fine. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to pay for insects. I don't want to set up a three-point city, though. If we do it uh, on the east for two cash and one steel, that gets Over us there. up to... No, oh, that's the west. Oh, yeah, up here. Yeah. If we do that, that gets us five cash, and we can sell three cards in order to play insects. Okay, yeah, you want to play it this round. All right. So we sell wife shuttles. There's still was, the possibility thinking, of ice cap. Uh, yeah, we should keep ice cap. I'm thinking wife uh, towing, and then your choice of shuttles or Vesta. I would sell Vesta, personally. Okay, this might be open city coming in. Since he played advanced alloys, and we got to 12%. Okay. Right, there it is. Is it not worth it to play ice cap to get the last ocean? Right it now? is. Yeah, okay. It is. And then we just do insects next round. Next round, it's too late. But it might just be it's too late for insects this game. I'd rather not miss it, though. But yeah, I think we ice cap for sure. Uh, just two cash, one plant. plant. Yep. Okay, so we're so, selling five, then. That's the question. So I, I one, think it is. Two... Three, four. Just sell like shuttles as well. Sell a uh, tech demonstration. Yeah, I'm a little sad to sell tech demonstration, but it's Gene probably repair is. Mm, Gene repair is two points for eleven. That's worth it. All right, there is the fish. Yeah, I think we are supposed to sell four for insects here, or five. Excuse me. Yeah. Can't do math. 
Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, imported nitrogen's not that good either at this point. Well, we it's... get we get four plants plus uh one point on herbies. And the it's two points, and the four plants don't currently matter because we're getting four plant prod from insects. I think that's going to result in us being at exactly three greeneries the rest of the game. We can keep it if you want to keep it. Tech demo's not, yeah, you know, has to draw two good cards for us anyway, so we can pass on it. Yeah, I think this is what I would do. So you're still okay. I guess the lead is evaporating a bit. How are we looking for Landlord? Eight to We're five. up by three. He gets the last uh, oxygen TR, which is sad. Only got six cards left, though. Oh, there's NRA. Okay, that's... I mean, that's a dump for his Titanium. But, uh... There are probably scarier cards out there. There are much scarier cards he could have had. Yeah. First so I remember move. how you wanted to SP cities? I think this is going to be a game where we get to SP some cities. I was thinking first move uh, Fun Thermalist, if, if, if it's available. Maybe. So of these, there's a clear one we don't pass. AI, even AI yeah. Central at this stage. Well, if there were better cards, I would pass it. But look at what is here and look at what you know his steel production is and i don't want to give him two cards in the point uh when everything else is useless yeah fair yeah it's a close one i think first move he probably funds minor yeah he might or, or a scientist all right finally we got a card <laughs> we got a yeah, card we're, we're ticked we're taking the windmills here. It's three, four point, and we have eight steel that we've gotten from that mining air rights that never okay, okay. True, found the true. target for. True. Mine is useless. I would just so get just rid cut. of his physics. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bother with AI. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably too expensive. What the, the the same time? It's a point, and we get to spend our steel on it. And we have the power. Right, that's windows. what I'm looking at. Is it's 25 plus 6, that's 31. We have 16 right now. So are we willing to pay 15 for a point and two cards? Yeah, uh, that's expensive. I think that's a bit much. All right. And our steel doesn't have negative value either, right? Theoretically, we can pressure him on minor with uh, keeping our steel sitting around. In fact, he's going to fund two awards here, and that's going to be troublesome to us. Scientist and minor, yeah. I was looking at that as well. It's definitely, well, it's 100% in his best interest, too. He kept no cards. Yeah, there it is. If he funds two, though, he doesn't have a way of ending the game unless he has a space event in his hand. So it can be in our best interest to drag it out, maybe. It's kind of we'll scary because he's got just as much plant prod as us. No, he's got four uh, less than we do. He has one animal coming in each gen, but uh, we have one for every greenery, which isn't much worse. So if he doesn't fund, do we just try up fund Thermalist? I think Thermalist is pretty good for us, yes. He does fund mine up. All right, so look at the scoreboard, but I'm pretty sure that means we can't end. He is ahead by four currently. So we are going to standard a city. Do we want to draw first? Uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing that would change the decision? Well, the thing I want to most do is I want to do it in the east to lock up all this valuable ocean real estate, and I don't want to get hit with an industrial center or a commercial district in the sixth pocket there. Okay. SP City. So... Yeah. I would do it for... No, no. I would do it for one point in the east where there's one plant in one ocean so go right down there. right there yep okay and then we greenery diagonally yep. down. And then greenery right there <laughs> lumen must think i'm in charge of this sp city yeah when it's right I, it's right <laughs> he says i hope you got approval <laughs> 
he was drawing okay do we are we bold enough to sp another city or is that too much currently he is uh, says, there it is <laughs> Uh, now we would draw a card. What are we hoping to find? Uh, that lets us in very cheaply. Yeah, that that, that's, that's free. That's free with our steel. Yeah, yeah, we take that. We don't necessarily want to end, though. We want to slow play this one. What's the score? 68 to 69. Yeah, very close. So we can do... Deepwell, Windmills, he raised Heat, and then either SP City or Gene Repair. Probably Gene Repair. Also, I'm not sure it's going to get much better for us. Um, I would I would one action here, to, which Skip. tell him you can one action back if he wants. Yep. Because we don't want him to necessarily <laughs> SP a city, uh, SP a asteroid or something, or play a big asteroid or something that uh, would take away our value. Yep. Fish. I'm getting to guess fish and skip. No, I just use the space elevator. I mean, he can end if he sells all cards, but that would be pretty bad for him. Yeah, which is something to think about, right? Um, I really hate he played that industrial center <laughs> right there. I was really counting on those four cash to come in with imported nitrogen as a play here. All right, and then we'd nitrogen, be at yeah. then we'd have been at eighteen plus four is twenty two plus two plants would be twenty four and we'd be in good shape for another greenery. But that got blocked, so that plan's out. Well, how lucky are you feeling? I think there is a high chance that he can just win, but we are going to be getting uh scroll down, make sure no awards are flipped here. He has Miner and Scientist, so there's nothing that should be flipped. Are we winning Landlords still? Landlords or 10 to 6, yeah. yeah. Alright, so no, oh, the end score should be accurate. Yep. So, I'll leave it up to you. I don't think he can really end and win, but uh, I also don't think our chances are that much better in another gen either. Um. So, I mean, if he sells 5 cards and just double Astros, he just straight up wins, right? I mean that's seventy two, and then we have one. Uh, we have seventy three, right? And then we have uh, windmills. We get in, uh, two greeneries, so that's four points. So I he's think he's also we're... getting two greeneries. Uh, yeah, but he's not getting uh, points from them. Yeah, he's getting single. Yeah, this is a tricky scenario. I don't know what's correct uh, here. We need to have him sell more cards to find out, and we don't have a way of doing that. Okay, do we just want to uh, windmill? We could raise temperature once and say if you have, uh, if you pay 14 to end, I don't think you have enough to win, so to speak. Okay, I'm fine just converting them. Convert, skip. Yeah. Uh, no, I think we should do two actions uh, because it, nothing interferes with it here. It just comes down to, do you want to play deep well heating and just end the game and say, your move, Lumen, or are we instead interested in making him go for it? I think I'm interested in making him go for it with, and we play windmills. Windmills for all the steel? Or plus um, one? We I think only want one. to use two steel because deep well could be uh, our full steel dump. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was looking at uh, SP City as well, which would need to sell. I guess it doesn't matter which one we sell. SP City is only two points, so I don't think it's worth playing SP City per se. Gene Repair is probably better. Yeah, I mean, okay, it really depends what card C has. Lightning Harvest. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's very bad. That's that's game bad. Uh, so right now, it is he's five points ahead of us because the oh, because uh, we just took minor minor is tied. tied, yeah, and he can just asteroid, so it's probably just game. Yeah, let's think for a second here. So imported nitrogen is two points, but it also gets us a. Four plants, which is um, 22, 
which with 22 means that if we convert on two plants next between your city and his city, then that gets yeah. us another conversion. We'll so that this means one here for one. We could do one yeah, one. Yeah, we, we yeah, we'll get three if we do imported nitrogen and then put it on two plants here. So I'm thinking what's our highest point scoring we can get here? I think we have so, to take away the temp first because well, he's incentivized to end. So we, we might as well just get a free point. But the question is, does he have a better play in his hand for 17 Okay, cash? that's true. I only got three cards. If we play imported nitrogen, that's one, two, three. What's Irby's count at? Uh, three. All right, so it's, that's a four-point card, imported nitrogen. So let's look at the score. So he's got a... We're he's minus got five, a, he's plus five. He's plus four on us, right? So if he spends all of it on a asteroid, then that puts him at plus five on us. And then his two greeneries are going to be two worse than ours are. So I think we're not supposed to end here. I think we're supposed to play imported nitrogen and convert for on the two plants. You still think on the two plants? We really need the two plants to get our next conversion, right? Obviously, it can backfire if he has, like, virus or birds, but we kind of just have to play to our best out possible, and I think this is the most points we can get. But I was thinking, isn't that still the same if we do one here, one here, and then we have enough plants to do one yes. up here? This just, this just doesn't give him you're, a point. You're, yeah, you're right, actually. Good call on that. So we go here for the two money first? Yeah. Problem is, he always just still has enough money left over to Asteroid. Yeah, but if that's all he can do, then I think we're okay. Yeah, so it really comes down to if he has a Titanium Dump or not. Exactly. We both have double greenery, but our greeneries are worth more. Yeah, we're two points up currently on him. Uh, three points, because yeah, Herbie's three, will be yeah. an extra point. Uh, I think four, because we have two greenies worth Predators. Positive. Okay. So he's eating one of our points from that now. So that was a two-point swing. But he's kind of out of cards now. Yeah, I, th so I if we think we end, just end. Yeah, let's just calculate. If we end, we're at it's 75 to 76. Then we get three points, and he gets... Uh, no, sorry, we get uh, five points, and he gets two points. So it's plus three. And we're currently... Yeah, minus two, so we'll win by one point if he has no other way of scoring. So, yeah. I think that's the best Yellow it. shot. Yellow it. And now we just sell gene repair. Yep. GG. Ooh, is that all he has? We'll see. He just converts. He can get four cash back. But it won't be next to his city, at least. But it's the same as not being next to his city. So is he, can you get a point for that? Standard cell? I think that's all he has. That's it. Oh, that's it? I think we got it. Pass. All right, so real important on the order, the plants uh, next to our city first. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. one plant. Yep. Ooh, two, oh, two beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. That wow. was a good game. I'm glad this was the game that we coached, because this was a very close one to figure out. I mean, if this was me alone, I would have been smashed by, like, 15-plus points, I reckon. Hello. Nicely done, guys. Hello. Yep, GG. That was a scary one. Yeah. Um, my starting hand was the most garbage garbage I've had in a while, but... It turned around in the drafts, at least. Yeah, what did we start with? Like, Mohole? Uh... We had all the heat in the world and yep. giant ice asteroid. So yep. our hand was fine, but we uh, we were very poor for most of the game, unfortunately. Yep. Right, right.
yeah, my other option was Tharsis with no support. So I decided to go Mining Guild with no support. I mean, yeah, you got a ton of... I, if you had a way to spend that Titanium, you win by quite a bit. Well, by a few points at least, I reckon. Oh, yeah, in the last round, but no. Y'all took enough of the space events, I assume. I did not see many. <laughs> Tried to take away all of them. Yeah, and it, I mean, I was like top decking research off of restricted area. I got pretty lucky to get to anti-grav and the back end of my hand here, so. Yeah, I think the game deciding draft at the end there was, it was Comet versus Advanced Alloys, I believe. And so we gave you Advanced Alloys, but I think if we'd given you Comet, that's a sink for your titanium, kills our plants, takes the heat uh, from us, which is like a four point swing from the ocean bonus. It's just brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's clearly the right pick to pass me advanced alloys in the last round. Um, at most, it's net like five for me. I mean, I'm not super surprised by anything I saw from your game. I don't know if you could say the same about me or not. The cloud seeding was a little weird to me, to be quite honest. Sure. Sure. I don't know if it kept us from being able to end uh, naturally with our heat. I didn't calculate no, that far that back. That wouldn't have been the motivation. It would have been just, um, I know I need more plants and this is my only source right now. Um, I'm not a big fan of the card either, uh, but sometimes it just fits in okay enough. I just didn't think it was in your interest to pursue plants that much since you had the water splitting plant taking most of the oxygen. Oh, um, I I didn't really think I wanted to be the engine player until really late i was happy to just like end the game as quickly as possible keep the scores low because based on the amount of cards you had in hand throughout the opening and mid game i suspected you had some kind of big science ideation um it just didn't turn out that way whose idea do you think it was to sp city well because you're asking i'm gonna say it's not your idea <laughs> I, i'm innocent but i was like i was all on board with the plan Right. Uh, that isn't exactly where I expected it, but, you know, it's a fine spot. It was just that there's more plants available elsewhere already placed. Oh, it's not about the greeneries. It's yeah. about the rebates and the plants on the ground. We uh... So it is the, the placement bonuses. Okay. Yeah, it was 10 cash uh, and then the city placement. So 12 cash. So it's 13 for one point versus 25 for two if I were to place it elsewhere. And I get four plants out of the deal. And I was like, this is going to be great. And then you played Industrial Center. And I said, Sam, I called it, didn't I? And then I was very upset about that. But that Industrial Center is straight off the restricted area right before the move before. Oh. Yeah. I mean, again, I think I got lucky to be this close uh, given where I was in the early and mid game. The uh, only other thing is this is a personal preference more than a mistake, but SP Ocean is Mining Guild. It's oh no, I hated it. Not my favorite play. I've seen a lot of people do it, and I will say that it makes sense in a pure. Uh, it's four MC more expensive than doing it from the card. So getting a steel production, which is worth seven, means that it is technically efficient to do. But without having mosses or algae or kelp farming accounted for, it's always dangerous to put oceans down, kind of inefficiently. Yep, that's totally fair. Um, I think my other options in round one were Pure Paths or Play Robotic Workforce on Mining Guild and or Peroxide Power. I think passing is totally acceptable there, but I don't okay. think SP Ocean is a blunder. Like I said, I think it's defendable and sometimes it's correct, but just not normally my first instinct. Sam, what did you learn today? Uh, like how much you actually need to calculate money because I was... I was going very tactically, like thinking one or two moves ahead, and then Thread was like saying, oh, but next round we need to giant ice asteroid and we need 35 money for that and so on. But I was mm -hmm. like living in the moment. Yeah, that is actually, in my opinion, one of the most annoying parts of the game is that you can either uh, build up some heuristic that says just save money a lot more than you want to, but also that sometimes isn't even enough. You just need to remember exactly how many mega credits you need uh for the next uh, for at least this generation and probably a big move after yeah it's like so ingrained in me to like get your engine going like i wanted to play gene repair very early on for like just to get the two extra income and you like play it? 
No, we yeah. didn't play it. There were, we uh, drafted yeah. Vesta Shipyard in, in the first gen, opening gen. Never played that either. Yeah, you clicked ready before I was ready to talk you down off that edge, but it, <laughs> I did it's move defendable. It. I did move quick on a, on a, a couple of moves. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, those are, I don't know, like, engine is good, but those are not efficient engine. Right. So, like I was telling Sam, t- uh, Titanium is worth 10 mega credits. So, when you look at Vesta, that's 18 mega credits. You're paying 8 mega credits extra early on, which is very expensive. That's, you know, that's half of a gen, essentially. Yeah. For one point and a Jovian tag. And the Jovian tag has a premium associated with it of about two or three mega credits. So if you're playing a Jovian card, you better be sure you're planning on going after some Jovians as well. And it was too scary. Uh, I said, I don't want to play it anymore after you play Titanium Mine because you could have Asteroid Mining Consortium. And then uh, we're crying. We just paid 18 for <laughs> you to get an extra Titanium prod. Yeah, right. That's another thing I learned, like, just the uh, balancing of the cards, like standard projects are worth plus four more than normal, like Jovian tags are two or three more than a normal card. Right. I actually wouldn't have been able to tell you that like a steel prod is worth seven or titanium prod is worth 10 or a Jovian is worth three. Um, maybe I should learn those as well. Uh, but yeah, inherently there is that kind of idea that you do have to know what you're paying for, like what part of the card is making it cost what it is what it costs well it's good news i'll do a little self-promotion in that i have actually recorded the audio for a video discussing all of that and once i get the visuals with it maybe that can help enlighten you guys a little more because the whole game is balanced around the formula except for some weird cards where for some reason they just really liked mass converter and kilt farming more than <laughs> all the other ones someone's favorite kid right yeah isn't giant ice one of them too yeah, Giant Ice is one of them, but it's not quite as egregious as the others are. Okay. Giant Ice, it's a little bit of a discount, but bigger cards get a discount, and that's fine. But Mass Converter is like 50 mega credits of value for 11 cash. It's like, <laughs> hold on now. Who, who balances this thing? Um, I think the thing that Thread does very well that I don't really do nearly enough is consider every single card that you're enabling either immediately or long term. Um, and I, I have part of the immediately stuff down and I vaguely think about the long term very broadly, but I should probably, I guess it sounds like, be uh, more proactive about uh, if I don't know where kelp farming is, you know, let's be careful about that. Yeah, like all, all throughout the game, it was like, okay, we're at 16 uh, temp now. That means grass can come online. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm I'm happy. I, I learned a lot. Thank you both. Yep, thanks for inviting me. I had fun uh, talking about the game, and I'm glad it was a close one where none of us had a really dumb setup that kind of invalidated all the suspense. Yeah, obviously that's what I was hoping as well, considering like if one of us got a broken start to restart, but it just turned out really good game. I almost checked in to see if you guys had some kind of really strong start, just based on how bad my starting was, but <laughs> glad I didn't. Have a good night then. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, okay. good night. See ya. Yep. See ya.